I don't care what you say, just take a Bucky Nugget and stick it up your nose. Hey, we're getting ready to do part two of our road trip back north. We're gonna be using solely Tesla this time and comparing how things go uh, compared to Electrify America. So as we were getting ready for a trip, we're here in Orlando right now, and I was talking with my daughter, who we were talking about the trip, and Ava, you asked me something very important about the trip home. Um, yeah, I asked if we were gonna use the fast chargers this time. Even kids know that Electrify America is not that fast. So we're gonna see how the trip goes. We'll be leaving here in a few hours and we'll be documenting the whole experience. Let us know in the comments below uh, what you think. Thanks for tuning in. We're getting ready to do part two of our road trip. In case you missed it, on the first trip down here to Orlando, we drove over a thousand miles using solely Electrify America. I'll link in the comments below the link to those two videos that have already dropped here on YouTube. Now we're gonna be heading back to Ohio from Orlando, Florida using solely Tesla. We're gonna be comparing all of the stats and documenting that along the way, what it's like using an EV, what it's like using Tesla, and so you all can see firsthand what it is like using Electrify America versus Tesla superchargers and road tripping. So this is an unfiltered account. This is not sponsored by anyone. Overall, just here to inform, educate, and overall have a little bit of fun and entertain. We've had a great time here in Orlando. We've enjoyed the theme parks at Disney, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, and have had a wonderful time. It has been to so easy having an electric vehicle while here in Orlando. We're staying here at the Reunion Resort right here in Kissimmee, Florida, and just outside of the gates, there is a Tesla supercharger. So we've had to charge about one, maybe two times. In fact, I just topped up this morning and charged the car up, so we're ready to go when we leave at midnight tonight. We're gonna be leaving at midnight and driving straight through from Orlando, Florida, to Dayton, Ohio, over a thousand miles. So come along on the journey, hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm to enjoy more content. Hit the notification bell to know every time I post a video. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you on the road. Well, good morning. It is 12.30 a.m. and we're just getting ready to depart Orlando. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the map and I'll show you what the Tesla route should look like or what it thinks it'll look like so far. So it looks like we've got over 900 miles so far on tap. And it's looking like it's going to route us through one, two, three, four, five, and then uh, six superchargers on our trip home, arriving home in uh, Dayton with around 18%. So it's early, but it's better to have a little bit of sleep than have none at all. So we're going to go ahead and get on the road, and we'll see you and we'll report all along the way. Thanks for tuning in. Well, we made it here to Jasper, Florida, and with 31 miles to go, and uh, plug in, and let's see what we're able to pull. We're here, and I'll show you kind of what the charging station looks like. So this is a version three supercharger and we're going to go check out the, uh, there's a shell gas station there. It looks like there's a gravel parking lot for uh, truck parking and looks like right now we're 152 kilowatts an hour. We'll go stretch our legs and see what that looks like, but it says we have about 35 minutes to complete our. So we'll head inside and we'll take a look and see what's going on. So we're just walking over to the rest area, and lo and behold, 
It's an outdoor little Porta John. There's the charging station. And so we'll check out the areas and we'll see what's what. Well, I thought I'd just give a quick update here. We are checking out and getting ready to look. While we've been waiting, we've been watching a little bit of YouTube on the Tesla's Entertainment Center. So it makes, uh, makes things a little bit more interesting. So we're checking out Kyle Connor and uh, the Out of Spec Reviews. They're getting ready to do an ID4 or an ID Buzz, the new Volkswagen bus review. So anyways, pretty cool. A quick way to pass the time and we're just about ready now it says we have five minutes left of our trip shows that we'll get to our supercharger with about nine percent so i'm going to give it just a few more get it up to about 12 13 percent and then we'll head out and we'll roll in on some fumes. just curious is it fumes if you're using a battery and if it is then what is it Put that in the comments below. I'm kind of curious what you all think. All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. We just made it to the Fort Valley uh, supercharger here, getting ready to get plugged at our overall efficiency here. So overall, bang on. Uh, we've driven uh, about 190 miles, so just uh, about right on from an efficiency standpoint. Let's go ahead and get plugged in so we can get charging. We'll see how long we need to stay here, and then we'll... Uh, go show you what's in store well we we got plugged in here all of a sudden it just shot up to 254 kilowatts an hour so really strong charging here right now it is just cooking uh, our state of charge right now is about 15 percent so that's why we're able to charge at such a fast rate we're going to go ahead and head inside get some uh, snacks get some coffee for sure and stretch our legs all right we'll see you on the inside Every time I come to Bucky's, I'm just amazed at the number of people there are, as well as just the size and the scope of it and how clean it is. Everyone is very friendly. We got our coffee, a couple of uh, egg burritos, and we are ready to go on our trip here. We'll get back and see how things are going and how we're charging up and what we're looking like. Well, it looks like we've got about six minutes remaining. Let's take a look and see what we'll get to our next charger. It looks like right now, if we were to leave right now, we would arrive with about a 6% charge. So we're going to let that go just a little bit more and try to get that up to about 10%. So that way when we do roll into Adairsville, we'll have a nice low state of charge and we'll be ready to go. In case you're curious what it's costing so far, it's costing us $12 to charge up and if you remember we rolled in at about 12% and so we've put about 60% of the battery back in which equates to about 204 miles. So we're going to continue the trip here in a second and we're going to get our breakfast and coffee going and, and we'll enjoy the rest of the trip. Hopefully make it through Atlanta without uh, any sort of incident or traffic because our next stop is on the north side of Atlanta, about 45 minutes north. And, uh, uh, but overall, trip's going good, and we'll keep going. So we're here going through Atlanta. Uh, you'll, if you remember, if you joined us last time on the trip down, as we were driving through the HOV lanes, the car kept trying to switch out. Well, I learned something new. There's a setting in the uh, Navigate on Autopilot where you can tell it to either include or exclude the HOV lanes. 
And so I flipped that on and we came into the south side of Atlanta. It navigated us to the HOV lane on the left hand side. And so this way now, it should take us straight through Atlanta on the HOV lane. Because there are a couple of par parts where 75 and the HOV lane uh, are pretty far apart in terms of interstates. So 75 north, you'll want to be in the right hand lane. Or if you're in the HOV lane, you'll want to stay to the left. And there's six, seven lanes of traffic. And as a result, it can be pretty hairy if for some reason you get confused and are trying to go the opposite direction. So navigate an autopilot setting, a key one to have, make sure you've got it turned on. So we're going to continue our trip here through Atlanta and we'll see you in Adairsville. It has a stopping there with about a 13% charge. And right now we continue to make great, um, uh, make great range or may have great efficiency and so it's just a beautiful day the sun's out and the temperatures are pretty nominal so it's about 52 degrees and so we're actually pretty efficient in fact I'll show you here it's like so we've consumed about 110 miles of rated range 2.7 miles more than what the car was rated and you can see down at the bottom what has um, consume that. It's really the elevation. So climate control being set to a nominal temperature right now. This mild temps really doesn't either heat or cool. It just kind of is pretty efficient. So we've gained two miles, 2.7 miles extra, and we've lost 2.7 miles of driving versus speed and then elevation. So really just bang on. The car has really gotten a lot more accurate in its range predictions with uh, the new software that was rolled out over the holiday. I'll put a quick clip in here about the software update that came through, some of the updates that you'll see. But pretty cool to have new software come out and the car just gets even better. All right, we're gonna pay attention as we go through uh, uh, 75 here in Atlanta and we'll see you in Adairsville where we'll charge. And we've got something exciting in store at our next charging location. So you'll wanna stay tuned for that. So. Stay tuned, you'll see it here in a second. Well, we just got here to the Calhoun Supercharger at Bucky's. It feels a little bit like Deja Vu kind of feels a little bit like deja vu. What are you talking about deja vu? feels like I've kind We've of only been to Bucky's, Bucky's one before, time. But this no. is the first time. Why would I go to Bucky's two times on one trip? Have I been it's to Bucky's? It's only once. We've only been one time. You're wrong. You're crazy. Why you're would crazy. I go twice This to is the first time and you're wrong. One time. That's it. Only once. You can only been here one time. Footage. You're bonkers. This is the second time that I've been here. I don't care what you say. Just take a Bucky Nugget and stick it up your nose. Well, we just got here to the Calhoun Supercharger at Bucky's. It feels a little bit like deja vu, like I was just here. So let me show you. We rolled in with uh, 26 miles left. And just take a quick peek at efficiency here. So again... Just bang on. So let's go ahead and get plugged up and see what we pull. And then we'll head inside for uh, all the wonders that Bucky's has to offer. Starting to charge and like magic. Well, we just finished up charging here at Bucky's and it's amazing. Uh, the car charged up to 74%, which will get us to Knoxville. One thing I found on the trip planner, it shows that we're going to arrive to Knoxville with 10% while we're charging. Unplug, it now says 20%. So I think the charger is just really overly cautious to make sure that you get there uh, with enough charge and don't have to stop anywhere in between. So pro tip, unplug with less uh, with the next charger so you can get there uh, quicker because the lower the charge, uh, that you arrive with the faster that you'll be able to replace those electrons with so pro tip we're going to hit the road we're leaving adairsville bucky or calhoun bucky's 
and uh, heading on the road. We're going to head through Chattanooga, up through Knoxville, and then our next stop will be at the Knoxville Supercharger before we go over the pass over to Jellico, which has got quite a bit of elevation gain, and come into uh, Kentucky on the other side. So we'll see you in a couple hours at the next Charger, and uh, we'll talk there.